thanks for joining today and spending this 30 minutes together with us. Today we have the topic WCE family, um, Vidya, carbide end mills, uh, four and five lute, and uh, it's uh, important to give you a little bit an overview about the portfolio, the techniques, what is the idea of this product family, and end of the day, as Constantine mentioned, we have time to um, answer your questions during the webinar and, and give you a little bit of feedback on that. So let us start with the first um, slide. And this slide is, is good for you to understand the position of the two brands. So we have, of course, the Vita brand and on the left side, the Hanita brand. Um, and the difference between these two is Hanita is the uh, performance brand, that means a high performance brand. Uh, you see this with the red P and performance here uh, below. Uh, so Hanita is the brand for high performance tools, tools which have a special application area, special material area, or for example, chip splitter versions. We have ceramic end mills. All these really high performance tools are under the Hanita umbrella on the right side. And this is the focus today. We have the Vidya brand with general purpose tools. Um, um, we have um, HSS tools and the WC in four and five. This is today the focus. And we, we make the difference between Hanita and Vidya be, between the P and the PV performance value and performance. So today we are in the performance value area. And you see right now this green frame, uh, we have the WC4 since March and the WC5 since October. This is the little bit newer family um, um, colleague here in our WCE family. We are talking today about both, but WC5, the five looter is the newer one. Okay, for a um, new product and for this WCE family, we need of course a value proposition. And the value proposition here is, we have an affordable price, a really, really good performance, four flute, five flute, a nice um, portfolio for inch and metric. And the, the good point here is really you get uh, a tool for uh, versatile materials applications for a cost effective, cost effective manufacturing. Uh, so all these PV performance value topics are covered with the four and five flute WCE family. Let me go one slide forward. We have also a key message for you. And the most important key message here is making technology more affordable. The word affordable is important. So you get a lot of technique, you get perfect newest technology on solid end mills. But on the other side, in this PV area, you get also a very good price and a nice portfolio range. So this three things coming together and our slogan, our key message is making technology more affordable. So let us start with the first technical detail slide. Um, we are starting with the four fluid. We have the square end version and the bonus. Let me start with the square end version. On the left side, you see what we did is, and this is why we said technology is very good included. We have an asymmetric divided flutes. Um, so this feature is important for improving vibration damping and improves the two life of the WC4, of this four fluter. If we go up, we have a variable helix angle. Again, improves damping and improves the two life of this solid end mill. Then comes a feature which is important and, and good to know. We have a tapered core. Uh, so this core of their solid end mill is tapered. This is important for improving chip evacuation and in general to give the tool a little bit better tool strength. Um, then I, I marked it in green. What means for fluid in general? For for fluid in this case means yeah, it's a perfect tool for slotting. It's a perfect tool for side milling, ramping, planching, and helical interpolation. And of course, you can use this tool also for dynamic milling. So you can do everything with one tool. You're very flexible here. And this is, I think, a good message. Then let us go down on the right side, the shanks. We have a cylindric shank and welding shank, standard shanks, which you are normally using in your manufacturing. And we have a titanium aluminum nitride coating on top. So this is a, a coating which yeah, gives you a perfect performance, uh, avoids all the wear out, gives you a good tool to life uh, if you're working with steel, stainless steel, cast iron, and super alloys as a secondary choice. 
before we have this coating on top, we have a pre-coat treatment process. And this is important to really have a good coating adhesion to um, helps to control the edge preparation after grinding. So this two comes together when we are talking about coating and coating performance. And the last point on the left side below is the relief design. So here we have two, faceted and eccentric relief. What is that? Relief design is after the cutting edge, so the, the relief is faceted or eccentric like in curve. Both have the um, yeah, advantages. Faceted is for end mills up to six millimeter and the eccentric relief for end mills larger than six millimeters. Let me go one slide forward. Again, we are on the four flute side, but now we have the ball nose version. A lot of these technical features repeats. For example, tapered core, the titanium aluminum nitride coating is the same. Shanks are very similar. What is different here? Okay, bonos, you know, bonos, solid end mills um, can be used and should be used also in this 3D profiling applications. You can do slotting, you can do side milling ramping, but 3D profiling is for bonos very often the, the use case, right? Then we have on the left side below, I jump with my mouse a little bit here, the one pass relief. What is that meaning? I will show you later exactly what it means. One pass relief, we are creating a perfect bonus profile. So the difference I will explain later. What means perfect? Unequal flute spacing um, cuts harmonics to reduce vibrations. So this vibration topic is every time the same. Vibrations are a problem. They are creating chatters. They are creating bad surfaces. So with this unequal flute spacing, we really avoid this problem and generates more stable cutting actions and again, better sew phrasing. So you see some of the features are repeating. So four flute, bonos, four flute, scrand. Now we are jumping to the five flute version, the newer version, five flutes. Um, we have an unequal flute spacing on top, similar idea. We have now a constant helix of 38 degree. Also vibration damping to life, tapered core, you can remember. And the four, five flute design is from the focus of the application a little bit different. Here we are talking more about side and shoulder milling. So side and shoulder milling is the focus of the five fluter. Um, shallow ramping is possible. Helical interpolation is possible, of course. Dynamic milling also possible. So we tried this uh, with a dynamic milling process, the five fluter, and we created a very big slot, but with dynamic milling process. Um, so it's, it's good for that. The focus was side and shoulder milling on the five fluter. And um, if I jump again on the left side below, relief design is also similar. We have faceted relief and the eccentric relief. So uh, for end mills larger than six millimeter eccentric and faceted for end mills up to six millimeter. Good, so we talked about four and five flute right now. Let me show you a little bit more insights, a little bit more technical features. So asymmetrical divided flutes. What we did, and you see here this 3D uh, graphic, we have an asymmetric divided uh, geometry situation. Four different angles between the cutting edges, uh, increased actions on harmonic cuts, uh, and great smoother cutting actions on challenging materials. You see this red cross, which gives you the perfect uh, cross. And in principle, the cutting edges are a little bit over this red cross or under this red cross. This is the asymmetrical divided geometry um, uh, logic here. The same on the five fluter, unequal flute spacing. So they, the name is a little bit different. So we have five cutting edges right now and we have five flutes. So you see this upgraded spacing is giving you the same technology, technology idea. It, is, it ensures smoother cuts, it ensures better surfaces and not this chattering problem. So this is again on the four and five loop, the same technology which we are using. Bonos profile, I told you there was something with this one pass relief. Uh, if you look on the left side below, a conventional end mill bonos profile is very often they have a bonos and then on the top, there is a notch or there's from the grinding process there they are creating a notch with our new bonus profile is we have a really perfect full round bonus profile 
on the top of the drill, uh, of, the, of the solid element, sorry. So more precise ball node profile without notch in the center. You can see it here on this graphics. It's a perfect ball nose profile. This is also newer, new technology and the difference to a lot of other solid end mills. Then positioning, performance price, WC four and five. You have to understand where is the position. So I told you, we have the Hanita brand, we have the Vidya brand. You see performance and price positioning on the top right side, Hanita high performance tools. For ex I gave you some examples. We have the Vanamil Extreme, a high performance tool, very good. Um, can help you in a lot of applications, special materials and special special processes. Vardemil, a little below from the performance and the price. And then on the left side, good performance, we have GP, general purpose tools for flute. So it's pricely down, performance is a little bit more down to the high performance tools. So in the middle, there was a performance price gap. And this is where we are uh, placing the PV products, performance value products, WC4 and WC5. So you see uh, it's the greatest value for small to medium chop shops. You get a lot for a good price, a lot of technology, a lot of performance for a good price, attractive pricing. Then um, a nice slide um, it shows you a little bit uh, the overview, the summary of four flute square end. And I'm, I, I, yeah, let me say on this slide, I try to give you a little bit of an overview of the edge styles. So we said it's a square end, yes, but in principle, we have sharp edges. You see it here on this icon. We have chamfered versions and we have radius versions. So for the WC4 square end versions, we have three different styles. Um, you see on the left side, the coding name is W20PE titanium aluminum nitride coating I showed you. And the material focuses on P, M and K materials. S materials as in secondary choice, choice are possible. And if you jump to the left, uh, to the right side, we see up different applications. Again, side and shoulder milling, slotting. This is of course very good with four flutes. Then we have helical interpolation ramping and plunging, all these are possible. And of course, dynamic milling, if you wanna choose a four fluter for that. The range of the portfolio, I will show you in the next, next slide after this. So then we have the bonos, um, four flute, similar style, you see materials, coating is similar. Of course, this perfect bono style and the applications, the focus here is, of course, on this 3D profiling possibility. You see the icon here changed a little bit. So this 3D profiling is now coming in the focus. The range is five to 20 milliliters, a little bit uh, higher. We started five here. Um, so the range of uh, the tools are uh, changing a little bit. I will show you when we have the portfolio range overview. And then the five fluter, same idea, you see, we have sharp edges, chamfered versions, and radius versions. And we gave a little bit here an information uh, for slotting, not recommended as first choice. So this is not the first idea of a five fluter. If you wanna do it, you can do it, but then please use uh, dynamic milling uh, strategies like a tricodal milling process. It works perfect, but for full slotting, a five fluter is not the first choice. This is what we try to give you here as an, side note that you know that. And why I say that? Because the next slide shows you exactly on the WC5 slotting and ramping do's and don'ts. So we said it's not the first choice for that, uh, but you can do it. So five flute um, designed for side milling operations. We said, okay, um, if you wanna do it, you can do it, but please use a dynamic milling process and try to use a tricoder milling process to create an, a full slotting with, with this special process. Uh, you see it here, preferred methods for slotting would build dynamic milling strategies. Ramping, do's and don'ts. So ramping is possible up to AP max 0.3 times D, or let me say five degrees maximum. So if you are in this five degrees area uh, of ramping, then you're fine uh, over five degrees there should be, uh, this, this can be created a problem. So please check this out. Five degrees is for ramping on the five fluter, the maximum, which we can 
offer and recommend. And also here the recommendations. So this was from engineering team. This is the, the regional product manager team, which are normally working with you guys, with you customers and the distributors. Also similar dynamic milling strategies are uh, good for slotting um, five degrees. Ramping is possible. Have a look at that chip replication. So every time here we have to check the chips. And, um, and again, the same uh, end melts with five flows is made for side milling means also limited in full slotting. So this do's and don'ts helps you a little bit to have not a problem later on with the five fluter. Um, and this, I think it's a good, it's a good tip. When you testing this tool, when you are working with this tool and you need some additional information, ask our sales guys, ask our application engineers or our partners, they know it, they are trained and they can give you also here again, a little bit of help. And the portfolio range, I told you, uh, we have a metric and inch portfolio on the four fluter. You see, we're starting from three to 20 millimeter sharp chamfered radius, ball nose version, and a long version here from six to 20. And on the metric chamfered version, we have also one uh, item which, which gives you 25 millimeters di diameter range. And we have no neck and with neck. So both, uh, you see it here, both are in the whole portfolio of metric possible. And the AP1 max is two times T up to three times T depends on the diameter AP1 max length. So this is a little bit jumping between two times T and three times T. And on the inch portfolio similar, you see sharp chamfered radius and bonus versions. And there is no neck version. Um, we have cylindric and welding similar to the metric ones and also AP1 max short, medium, long and X long, so very long. All these are available and possible on the fourth looter and on the five looter. The portfolio is a little bit smaller because of the side and shoulder milling operations. We don't need uh, the, the huge big portfolio. We need a portfolio which makes sense for your applications. So here we're starting from four to 20 millimeter chamfered and radius version on the metric side, cylindric and welded, no neck and neck, uh, two times D. And for inch, um, it jumps a, bit, a little bit between 316 inch to 38 inch sharp. Then we have cylindric and from half inch to one inch sharp, we go to welding. So this is a little bit the idea to cover both and to, to get both um, shank styles depending on the diameter and application. Um, on the shelf for you. Okay, this was four and five fluid portfolio. Now is the question, okay, we know we are in performance value, four and five fluid, a lot of technology is included. Which are the focus industries here? And the focus industries are general engineering, energy and transportation. Of course, the focus is on the top general engineering in this area. Um, so the idea was to create a tool which can help you in your channel engineering area with um, a lot of the applications, diameters, and uh, for you really, if you're changing material and you have problems with, with different applications, four and five fluid is a very good solution here. This brings me to the target customer profile. So what is the customer? And the customer is exactly the, 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 the customer which using um, applications on having uh, applications, work pieces in channel industry, in, um, a channel engineering industry, energy, transportation, uh, versatility applications, versatility tools. This is a little bit the, the idea here. Um, focus on small to medium chop shops. So if, if you have small and medium chop shops, absolutely perfect tool for you. Target customer needs a single tool to run on multiple workpiece materials. I told you multiple workpiece materials. You have to be very flexible. You have to react on different materials. This tool can absolutely help you here. Um, and um, you also get a low initial tooling investment because the price is very interesting uh, and you get good technology for really good performance value price. Okay, so this is a little bit of target customer profile. And then we have the availability and launch. So at the moment, four and five flutes are available globally uh, in our main warehouses uh, for metric and inch. Uh, in all sales orgs, and we are selling it over uh, over the planet. So if you are not at the moment um, using this tool, ask your sales guys, you want to test it, you want to try it. And so you have uh, globally a lot of stock and you can get these tools 
tomorrow. Um, and also we are showing you a lot of information for WCA 4 and 5. The web page brochures uh, constantly will jump on that later on. Um, we have uh, different uh, landing pages, different flyers, brochures. So all the material is available for you. Then uh, short information, quoting engine, uh, simple special solid end mills. So we have the possibility created for you. You see here a lot of product platforms. Let us focus on the last two, WC4 and 5, are possible for a simple special creation. That means with the quoting engine, you can create simple specials very easy. Um, um, and this is possible. So we included also this performance value products to this quoting engine, simple specials generator. So you can, you can ask for that. You can use that for your application. And custom solutions, if you need a really special custom solution tool, this is also possible. Um, so if you want to create a complete new custom solution, you can ask our sales guys, or you can use Novo, our, our application tool software, Novo. You can download it from our software, uh, from our webpage, and you can configure your own tool with the help of Novo, with the software. So it is possible. This is my signal to you. If you want to use or you want to create a custom solution tool, we gave you the possibility if you need something special. And also often a question, regrinding, we can regrind the four and five fluid end mills. Um, so no major concerns, no problem here. Uh, we have a lot of regrinding center globally. Um, so ask also here your sales guys, your partners, your distributors, if you want to regrind these tools, it is possible. And to bring all together, all this information, uh, global marketing collateral, so what we have created for you, and you see here, this is a slide which we are using also internally. So we have created a nice brochure in English, in different languages in, uh, for metric and inch. We have our webpage, we have the quick facts, we have pictures, videos, uh, messaging documents, uh, flyers, uh, one or two page of flyers, press releases, all this information is coming together. So you will have a lot of material from, from let me say, the reading and understanding the tool better if you, if you want to download it from the web page or also social media channels. And yeah, this slide is one of the last slides to bring all the key selling arguments together. Um, versatility, versatile. So these tools, four and five fluid, are designed for use on multiple materials, steel, stainless steel, cast iron, and as a secondary choice on this S materials. Um, re reliability is, it's an advanced design, advanced coding, advanced geometry, a lot of technology coming together, including asymmetrical index and, for example, 38 degree helix on the five fluider. Um, perfect performance for a really good price and a consistent tool life. We're also testing a lot. We get a lot of test reports back. Um, it's amazing how good this tool is. And um, so if you want to test it, try it, do it, test this tool. You will be happy. And regrinding custom solutions are possible. I told you right now. And the last important point here is attract attractive price for small to medium chop shops. So you saw we, we closed this gap from high performance to good performance. We closed this gap in the middle, best performance, PV performance value area.